know me and no friend. What are you doing here? Good afternoon. What are you doing here? Just You came to have a word with me. If you had succeeded in killing me in that attack you masterminded, would you be here to have a word with me? Please, 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 please. I had no hand in your attack. Oh, you shut up. Why, why would I even do that? I love you, Prince. Why would I want to kill you? Do you think you can confuse me with this, you fit tears? No, listen. Leave my house now and never come back. I said leave my house! Prince, I was framed up! Can't you say it? I didn't do anything! Oh. You need to listen to me, I was framed up, please! Didn't you threaten to deal with me the night before the attack? You want to confuse me with your... Okay, yes. I'll come with you after my gate, man. Just, just, just hold on. Prince, what's every wicked soul, you're trying to kill me! I could, I couldn't No, you, you, you planned to kill me! Prince, I couldn't have done that, I didn't plan to kill you! Prince, please, I beg you, I didn't do it. When my gate man comes, you will tell him that. Prince, you need to hey, listen to me. Come I... here now. <laughs> come here now. Prince, I beg you. Nonsense. I beg you, I didn't do it. Please, please, I beg you. Look at her face. Do not mind the makeup, just look at it very well. I don't your face. Don't be a fool, come to see me and look at her face very well. I've seen this, I've seen this. Now I don't want to see her miserable face in my house again. If I dare see her, I will suck your ass. Very clear, sir. You'll not see her again, sir. Chris, please, you need to listen to me. I couldn't have done anything to you. Get that to my good man, he will listen to you. Chris, listen to me. Chris, listen to me. Chris, please. Please, I beg you, I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. Oh, that I spoke of. Please, madam. Please, I beg you, please, just listen to me, please. Madam, madam, I cannot talk. Please, 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 madam, come and talk. Just please. shut the hell up. Madam, you're not paying me, please, come on. I cannot talk as it's been, as it's been. Come and go. Forget that I'm small. My wife just born, madam, please, come and go. You're not paying me. I cannot spoke of. Please, come and go now. Madam. Madam, please, come and go now, please. Madam, leave now. I'm not paying you, I'm not using to spend my own. Okay, please, it will not happen again, please. They say I am homeless, and they try to take the only thing that gives me joy. No, or I will find. Good afternoon. Sorry for keeping you waiting. Thank you very much. Um, and I'm sorry to have bothered you too. And, um, you must be Vicky, Prince's sister. I, I mean, Ogunaya's sister. Ah, yes, yes, I am. Oh, you just told me so much about you. <laughs> so, how is school? School is fine. Oh, I see. Um, I'm here to see your father. Is he in? No, 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 he's out. Okay, um, and it's okay if I wait for him here, right? Okay, yes, you can, you can. Um, but I was doing something inside before you called my attention. No, no, it's okay, you can go back in. Okay. But just help me with a glass of water. Okay, I will. Thank you. Mrs. Laura Okafo, the above mentioned kindred uses this medium to invite you to our upcoming meeting to be held on the 24th of this month at our meeting place. A case was reported against you and you are to attend the meeting with two cartons of beer, four kola notes and five thousand naira. You are reminded that it is mandatory that you attend the meeting to avoid sanction by the said kindred. Thank you. Chairman, Mr. Okemwa, Secretary, D.K. Avo. What kind of rubbish is this? The same day that Prince and his father are supposed to visit us here? Which case are they talking about? 
confused. My stepmother and her daughters framed me up so they could take him away from me. What? I didn't do it. I mean, no sense, Papa. <laughs> anyway, my son never told me he was attacked by assassins. He told us he was. He had an accident. Yes, that was what he told us. <laughs> my stepmother has never wanted anything good for me. Papa, can you imagine this woman told her daughters that I was adopted? And I'm sure they told your son the same thing. That's why he's been acting this way. It's okay. Don't, don't go cry. Don't cry. Take it easy. Eh? It's a good thing you came to tell us this matter. I love oh, him doctor. very much. I can't say it. I love him from the deepest part of my heart. And yeah. stop crying. Don't talk worry. to him. Don't worry. We'll talk to him. I want to talk to him for you. Eh? I will talk to him. I don't know why you do this to me. me. Maybe because my father is not alive. Oh. They know I have no one to fight for me. I'm just tired. I don't even know what to do anymore. Don't worry, you have a God. <laughs> huh? Even if nobody is there for you, you have your God by you. It's just I'll like do it's all I can as his father to convince him. I can see love showing in your eyes already. <laughs> huh? Thank well, you. Just... We'll do that. That's why you. Um, I want to see your. Yeah. We're never going. Ada, this man here say want to see you, sir. Okay, how can I help you? I'm here to warn you to leave Siva alone. I've labored so much to build this relationship. Suddenly you appear from nowhere to ruin it. No. Leave her alone, please. Have you lost it? I've not lost it. I came to warn you. She's my fiancée. Tim, and listen very good. Never you in your miserable life step your feet in this house again. Do you know who I am? Do you know me? And who the hell are you coming to? Get the hell out of my house! Can you imagine this fool here? You coming to my house to warn me? My friend, you will do nothing. You, this is your house, I know. Leave my woman alone. Get out! I've come to warn you. I've come to warn you. Leave my woman alone, man. How dare you come to my house to talk to me? I won't warn you, sir. Mr. Man, you are wrong. How can you enter someone's house and start threatening him? Is that how you judge your own? Can you imagine that for this? Is your friend warning him to leave my woman alone? I'm gonna warn you. Don't you Let me see your miserable feet in this house. Please, please, please. What's going on? Imagine this bastard. And you, you, you open the gate for, 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 for. Don't stop. 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 My guy, you have to be very, very careful. You have to be very, very careful these days because huh, your rivals are many. Well, that's not a problem. Just watch and see. I'm going to trace him and get him arrested. Just watch and see. But I didn't expect you to fight him. Now, why won't I? Abby, you expect me to fold my hands and watch that fool come to my house to, to insult me? No, no, no. Is that what you expected of me? 
to, to, to fold my hands and, and, and watch that man insult me in my own house. My God, you have no case with that man. You should have let him know that you don't have anything to do with Siva anymore. Well, not with that manner of approach. Even if I don't have anything to do with Silva, that's not the reason he will come to my house to insult me. Get my point? Well, like I said before, you have to watch your back. Be very, very careful. Anyway, well, we'll see later, man. I'm so pissed right now. You have to take it easy. They call me an orphan They say I am homeless And they try to take The only thing that gives me joy Hey! Sandra! Sandra! Bring that letter for me! Call me. Yes, I call What do you know about this? Come back here! Waiting for an answer to my question. You're waiting for an answer to your question. Why are you asking me about the letter? Did you see my name on the letter? <laughs> Silver. Silver. Don't pretend like you knew nothing about this. What did you report to the woman against me? I don't know what you're talking about. We come to think of it. Are you afraid to answer the woman now? <laughs> Silver. Why are you lying? You're making a very big mistake if you think you can use the Omona summon as a weapon to disrupt Ugonia's visit on the 24th. Tell the Omona that mother will not honor such summon. Thank you, Omona, that Omona will not honor such summon. You're sending me to them as your DHL to drop a message for them. And let me ask you too, how is this even supposed to be any business of mine? Listen, I have taken enough of your nonsense in this house. One more provocation. I will inject you out of this house. I'm waiting for that day. I've been told how Ifani, your lover, went to Gunai's house and disgraced himself. Stop fighting, Dumibi. Stop fighting her. You're wasting your time. Fine, go to Prince's house to do. Thanks, my boy. It's fine. You sounded very urgent on the phone. Yes, I did. It's about your visit to our house. We have to change plan. Why? My mother got a letter from our kinsman. She's been summoned to the village meeting. Um, same 24th. So we have to change. I don't understand. Why are they fixing it on the same date? I, I, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't just know. I don't know. I don't know. But I think that Silver must have a hand in this. You know that gave Silver you again? What is wrong with that girl? My father called me yesterday and complained that Silva reported me to him and said so many rubbish about me. She did what? Yes! Huh. Well, I told my father that she sent assassins after me. And right now we are no longer together. Please, when you get home, one Silva for me because I don't want to lose it. I've always known Silva to be very dangerous and desperate. But little did I know that she would go this far. What rubbish! After trying to take my life. Oh no, she wouldn't dare. 
Do not worry yourself, my darling. I will sure deliver your message to her once I get home. What madness is this? Going to your father? Goodness. A girl has no shame. want you alone. Why are you moving from one place to another, tarnishing my image? You may be please. I beg you with everything you hold dear. I really don't want to get angry this afternoon. Take your problem elsewhere. I don't want your insults this afternoon. Oh please! I will insult you. You heard me. I will so insult you because you're so shameless and insensitive. What is wrong with you? Huh? I choose to ignore you. But I won't warn you again. This is the last time I am going to warn you. And if you warn me, what will happen? <laughs> what will I? You, you are not going anywhere because I'm not done talking to you. You may be. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> what is it? Uh, Mother, can you imagine this fool? She went to Gonia's father's house and told the man to stop the son from getting married to me. How could you stop so low? Silver, what is your problem in this house? Eh? Get it, Maggie. You want to know what my problem is? Warn your daughter. Warn her! Mother, I am saying it! Warn her! Because as it stands, I'm ready to die in anybody's hands! I won't take this nonsense from anybody again! Mm. Oh, really? Then get ready to die. If that is exactly what you want, get ready to die! Silver, are you not ashamed of yourself? No, she's obviously not ashamed of herself. You're not ashamed of yourself? And now, listen, let me tell you. Ugonia asked me to warn you to stay away from his affairs. Mm. Leave him alone! Is that too much to ask? You are talking nonsense. Oh. You are talking in the rubbish. Rubbish, that is what you're saying. Let me tell you, you are just wasting your time. You are wasting your time thinking that you have succeeded in taking him away from me. Big joke. You are just jealous. You are so jealous of me. Listen, you are the one wasting your time thinking that you're trying to ruin things for me. It will never stop me. Your plans won't work. Leave us alone! Okwagi, you, save you, you will suffer. Which? <laughs> it is you. You and you that will suffer. God will punish all of you. Punish your generation to come. All of you. What is you do? What is you do? What is you do? What is you What is you do? 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 You see, you see, Laura has disgraced herself today before the moon man and her daughters. Hey, I don't know what she had in mind. By telling her own daughters that Ikofo's daughter was adopted. I think her plan was to deprive Silva of her rights in the family. What does she mean? And that is wickedness. Wickedness of the highest order. She is supposed to take Silva as her own daughter. You know, her, her daughters were really disappointed in her today. I'm really disappointed. It is now obvious to Dumebi and Sandra that Siva was not adopted as their mother claimed. Mm. Eh? You see, you know, I saw their reaction when their mother was apologizing to Siva. Mm -hmm. It was something else. They never <laughs> expected it. Don't worry. I got peace here. Even I'm going over there. I got peace here. Even I'm going over there. Don't worry. Okay, okay, man. Man. Bobby. Uh -huh. Mom Is that why you're worried? Yes. Can you imagine the humiliation we got at the meeting today? I was so ashamed of myself. Oh, Sandra. There was no humiliation. Please. Were you not there when Mom apologized to Silva? She was forced. I mean, was it not glaring? Oh, you seem to have forgotten who Silva is. She was in the village before our arrival. So there's every possibility that she must have gone to bribe those men. I don't think it is so. Siva was not adopted as just as mom told us. Oh please. 
Sandra, can we just drop this discussion? I have a lot of things to think about right now, not Silva. Please. Guy, I'm very happy for you. <laughs> Finally, you're about to settle down after the whole battle. Oh, yes. Hi. But see, it was not an easy battle. I mean, Silva gave me a tough time, my brother. <sighs> We're counting down to the D-Day now. Oh, yes. In less than three weeks, I will be walking down the aisle with the love of my life. Uh, honestly, I, I, I envy you. I, I feel like I'm the one getting married now, you know? <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> Calm down. It's, it's not too, easy. So. It is good. Yeah, sure. It's a good a, a champion without challenge. <laughs> it's not a champion, you know. Yeah, that's so, what's up. So, yeah, I really, I really envy you. <laughs> well, the truth is that nothing good comes easy, you know. <laughs> Say I am homeless And they try to take The only thing that gives me joy No, or I will fight What are you doing here? Yes. There is nothing good about this afternoon What are you doing here? I brought a message for you. What stupid message? It's a message from the hospital. Check the letter. Let's find out what it's saying. Have a nice day. He said we will be traveling to Dubai for our honeymoon. <laughs> really? Yes, mommy. Oh, this is good news. And that's not all. Oh. He said our marriage will be the talk of town. The bloggers will carry it like it's going to be everything. And I say a big amen to that. Amen, oh! Amen <laughs> and amen and amen. Mommy, I'm so excited, honestly. Hey. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Father, I thank you. Thank you, Lord. Okay, now listen. I hope you have reminded him of my own group of Ashwabi. Ashwabi what? Wait, what do you need Ashwabi for? Me ni kwanu gin. Ha? Please don't get me angry. Ah uh ah! -uh. What a question. I need Ashwabi for my own club members. My close friends. I've heard you are telling your royal majesty. Whatever. Uh -huh. Another thing that is very, very important. Okay, tell me. He promised me one million naira for my shopping. So please help me to remind him. Or gather up. Your own personal shopping? A million naira. Mommy, isn't it rather too much? It's my husband you're talking about here. Is it your money? Hey, even at that, you want to liquidate him? Do huh? maybe? Can be quite Is it because I accepted just one million naira? Eh. Hey. Why he will make it two million naira? I'll tell him about that. Eh. Mm. Mommy, that is not. Please, let's just forget <laughs> about all this. My excitement is that I'm going to so get married before that silver. Is that my hey. elder sister? Who does that? Doom doom. Mm. Mommy. Do me listico. Mommy listico. <laughs> <laughs> um, ah. You know what? What mommy? <laughs> Finally, yes. God has turned our enemies. To our foot. You want to I know Zowasi for my name? That is now Zowasi. Zowasi. Who on earth will believe that Dumebi mm. will get married before Sarah? Nobody. We hmm? never saw it coming, but it's gonna happen, mommy. This kind yes, God. God. We never <laughs> see at all. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I got this from your bedroom. 
Silva is pregnant for you. You're not saying anything. Well, that, that's what she said. No, that's exactly what the result says. That she is pregnant for you. Is that true? Oh, that, that is what I cannot tell. What do you mean by that? Oh my God, I can't believe this is real. I mean, what exactly are you saying? My love, can we just skip this pregnancy thing? It's not a problem. Can you hear yourself speak? Ugone, I mean, can you hear the things coming out from your mouth? You got her pregnant and you're telling me it is not a problem? What is wrong with you? Because I'm not sure. Oh, you are sure! Why can't you zip up? What is all this? Now listen to me. I am not going to face any humiliation from you once again. If you know how this thing, this mess happened, you sort it out. You can't be humiliating me. For how long? Horrible. Siva must have faked that pregnancy result. Mommy, she didn't. She didn't fake it. Possible, mom. Exactly what I told your sister. Mommy, she did not fake it. I'm telling you. Have you forgotten there was a time Siva passed the night in Ugonia's house? Constantly. I'm sure she planned all of this. <sighs> Do maybe you need to talk to her? Yes. The pregnancy is of no use since Ugonia is no longer interested in her. Does she want to know that? I mean, does she want to understand that the man doesn't want her? Does she? Is she back? Mom, she's not back. <laughs> Siva, she shouldn't just try me in this house. Because she's really going to get it hot from me. I won't spare her. I will not. Stupid girl. Uh, I'm putting her legs anyhow. She must have bought that pregnancy. You may be thought she has had her way. I will not be alive and watch her marry Prince. Not when I'm carrying his child. I'm glad you're back. What do you want? I've come for us to talk. Talk about what exactly? I saw the pregnancy test you left in his house. Good a thing you saw it. <laughs> well, that thing inside of you has to be removed. Do away with it. <laughs> did you speak Spanish or English? Excuse me? <laughs> what did I hear you say? I'm sure you're not daft. I said that thing inside of you needs to be aborted. Same way you did not abort your child when you got pregnant for him. I won't touch mine. Well, I'm not here for unnecessary argument. Of course, you know that the day to our marriage is very close. You know that. And you wouldn't fool yourself thinking that you have a chance when you have obviously lost. So you have to take that thing inside of you out. Fantastic. Congratulations to you, darling. Thank you, Adi. But let me make this clear. You see this child in my womb? I won't tamper with it. Mm. That's me. Suit yourself. Oh. 
my phone. <sighs> Hello, Prince. Okay. That hurt you. is working. Yes, it's working. Here's a check of five million naira. What's the money for? I want you to terminate the pregnancy. You're joking, right? <laughs> I, in fact, I didn't hear you clearly. What did you say? I said, yeah, come on. Collect this money. You can't be pregnant for me while I'm about to marry your stepsister. Just shut up. Stop telling me to shut up. Because you're talking nonsense. You want me to terminate this pregnancy because of my stepsister? The same person that put me in this condition? Are you serious? Silver, please. Accept this money. I don't want us to do something we both will regret. Please. <sighs> Let me have the check. This, Can is I? this is advanced. I'll give you more. Just use it and start something. Five million. I'll give you more. Huge money. For peace to reign. Good money. Now listen to me and listen good. I don't need your money. Neither do I need a new life. You see this child? I won't terminate it. I won't kill this baby in my womb. Let me see how you walk down the aisle with my sister. Told the checkbook Ugonia gave to her, saying that she will not tamper with the pregnancy. Can you imagine? Uh, Silver is seriously asking for trouble. She is asking for trouble, mommy. Anyone that knows that fool should go and talk to her. They should want her. <laughs> because I won't take rubbish from her anymore. This is not about senior sister or anything. I won't take rubbish from her. Who will she listen to? Hey? When she rejected a check of five million naira, hmm. then she's digging her own grave with her own hands. I don't care if she gets to carry the pregnancy. Oh. Me, I don't care. Because whatever she's doing will never stop me from getting married to Gonia. It will not stop me. No way. My daughter, listen. It is very dangerous for her to keep the pregnancy. Yes! Because if she does, <laughs> it will be a threat to your marriage to Gonia. And I will make life very miserable for her. She wouldn't dare. Something has to be done very fast before it's too late. But mommy, what can really be done since she has refused to abort the baby? What can be done?
fine, just talk to me. What is it? Talk to me. What? Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Okoro, sir? Okoro, open sir. the gate. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. What happened? It's my son. What about him? I, I went to his school to look for him, but I couldn't find him. Then some students said an auntie came and picked him up. Initially, auntie. I thought... Yes, I thought it was my sister, Sandra. I called Sandra, but Sandra said she wasn't the person. But have you reported to the school authorities? Yes, we even went with them to the police station. I can't find my son. I can't find him. <sighs> But that means you've reported to the police. Yes, I have. I have. My Lord, please. Help us. I don't want anything to happen to my grandson. Please, okay, okay. just, just do something for me. I'm losing my it's mind. It's okay, it's okay. Let me make a few calls. Oh my goodness. An auntie came to pick him up. Yes, and it wasn't Sandra. I'm still wondering who the person is going to be. Let me get the military involved too. It's okay, just calm down. Are you saying that nothing has been heard about your son up to now? Indeed, this is the third day. No phone calls. No letter from... from whoever that adopted him. This is serious. But who could be behind this? Do you, do you remember that man uh, that, that, that I had a kind of confrontation with uh, that, that warned me some time ago? Yes, I remember him. Are you suspecting he might be the one? Yes. But my problem is I don't know how to locate him. And Sylvia has not been seen since my son's disappearance. No one knows her whereabouts. She's the only one that can lead me to him. My prince, this case is taking another dimension. I will advise you to forget about the police for now. There is a place I will take you to. Yes, whoever that is holding your son will release him immediately. Where is the place? He's a very strong man of God. The church is very close to my house. Hmm? Okay. Up to now, we've not seen Silva. Where could she be? I'm suspecting that Silva must have run away with Ibuka to punish you, maybe. Registered number. Go ahead, answer it. Hello. Hello, who is this? The person is not being audible. I couldn't hear anything he said. Maybe it's network. Hello? Hello? Who? Please, close to the number. I said it. It's the same number. Check mine. It's still the same number. Please ask. Hello? Yes, this is Sandra. Who are you? Hello? Oh. Oh. Honestly, I'm sick and tired of all this. What is really going on? Up 
till now, the police has not come up with any tangible thing about this case. They kept saying they are still investigating. I mean, for, for how long? For how long am I going to wait for this their stupid investigation? It's really frustrating me, mommy. Um, what of Ugonia? I thought he went with you to the station. I didn't see him there, mommy. I didn't. Besides, I do not have to wait for him before I look for my son. It's my son we're talking about here. It's my son. Um, please, answer. Hello? Hello? To me be. Yeah, who is this? Yeah, it's me. I am Ebuka's father. What rubbish are you talking about? Stop kidding me, girlfriend. Look, this is the voice of John Kennedy. Stop looking for Ebuka. He is safe in my care. How dare you? Listen to me, girlfriend. Time has come to tell your people the truth. I will not have you give my son's paternity to another man, okay? Have you lost your mind? What exactly are you talking about? You see, to me, be the first time I spotted you after all these years, I started digging around. I knew you were pregnant for me before you ran away. Will you stop all this? Can you just stop already? Look, I was very happy when I learned that you have a son. Interesting, interestingly enough, he is seven years old, which corresponds to the same period you got pregnant for me. I've told my son about you and I. Thank God he is very smart, like his father. So he understood everything. You know what? I'll get back to you later, okay? Thank you for now. Who is that? And what did he or she say? Jesus, what would you have just done for us? I worship your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. My brother, you know, the book of Matthew chapter 7 verse 7 said something. He said, when we ask, we shall receive. When we seek, we shall find. And when we knock upon the door, it is always open for us. The boy we speak of, his name is Ebuka. Am I correct? Yes, his name is Ebuka. Yes. Uh, See, my brother, there's a mix-up somewhere. Mix-up? What kind of mix-up? Okay, let me explain it this way. You see, the Gospel of Matthew explains something. When Jesus was about to leave his disciples, he said he would not leave them alone, that he would send the comfort out the afflicted. The Holy Spirit always, at every time, reveals the truth. Now, while I was praying over your case, the Holy Spirit ministered something to me. Yeah, it was actually clear. You see, Ebuka is actually safe. As a matter of fact, Ebuka is with his father. With his father? I don't understand. I've been looking for him. He's not going to come down. You see, that's the big song I was telling you. That's the mix up I spoke about. Ebuka is not yours. What? Are, are you alright? Are you out of your mind? Ebuka is my son. Ebuka is my son. Which one is Ebuka is not my son? Did you bring me here for this man to insult me? Calm down. Calm, didn't you hear what he said? That Ebuka is not my son. Don't, what kind of rough place is that one? Calm down. Let us get this message clearly. Please. Okay, let me put it this way. You see, the book of Numbers chapter 22 verse 11 says something. He said that God is not man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. Now you see, the words I speak to you, they are not my words. They come directly from the Holy Spirit. My advice to you is this. Go to and if you're still in doubt, ask the boy's mother. You see, there is a secret she will show us. Do baby. 
You did not speak to anyone since last night you received that call. What is really going on? Mom, please, I'm not in a good mood. I never believed things would turn out like this. I'm not happy, please. Please, talk to me. Is Ebuka dead? What is the secret you're hiding from me? Secrets? What are you talking about? No, do not pretend. What secrets are you hiding from me? I don't have any secrets. Stop talking now! Don't, don't ignore me! Tell your daughter to tell me the truth! Who is Ebuka's father? Mommy. Stop talking before you lose it now! Who is Ebuka's father? Mommy, tell him to calm down and allow me to talk. No, I will not okay. calm down until you tell me the truth. So you have to Who down. is Ebuka's father? Please. For the last time, do maybe. Do maybe. He should calm down. And I will oh, talk. Please, calm down. What is he talking about? Mommy. Yes. During my school, when I was seven, okay. I was dating two guys. Gonaya and John Kennedy. Okay. I really loved Ugonia more because he was caring and also educated. John Kennedy was a bully. He was so cruel towards me. He had so much money, but he hit me at any slightest provocation. So I wasn't comfortable with him. So when when I, when I took him, I went to go near here because I, I knew he would take good care of me more than John Kennedy. Um, so, <sighs> so. All this rubbish you're trying to say is that I am not Abuka's biological father? John Kennedy is. Though I I hid it. I hid it from him because I never wanted to be with a bully. I prefer to be with you. <laughs> So you decided to visit me at last. I'm so sorry, John K. I've not been all right. I've been sick. Is that why you also reject my calls too? Is that it? I've I've been down. Don't feel bad about that. I also went to your shop. I couldn't find you there. It's okay. So tell me, are you feeling better now? I'm better. Better, but all is not well. What is it? I'm pregnant. I'm three months pregnant. You are three months pregnant? Yes. I can't believe it. I don't even know what to tell my parents when I get home. I only have three months to stay in the States. What do I tell them? Eh? Do I even, where do I even start? It's okay, my love. It's okay. I, I'll come and see your people, okay? Yeah, I promise you. I'll come and see them. I'll marry you. Come on, share up. Take my word. <laughs> Let me get you something to drink. Something soft, all right? <laughs> That's girl. Where have you been since morning? I've, I've been at home. Home where? 
Do you know how many times I came to your lodge to look for you today? Do you? Kenny, please, don't be like this. We are outside. I was inside the house. You're a liar. I was in my room. Shut up, you're a liar. But, but I was in my room. You're still lying to me. I'm not lying to you. Do maybe? You're still lying to me? You slapped me. And I will slap you. Stop oh, doing this. We are outside. This way. This way. I'm human. I suffered so much in John Kennedy's hand. It was too much for me to bear that I had to leave the relationship. I ran out of town without even telling him I was leaving. I I also changed my number so he wouldn't get to me anymore. I'm so sorry, Gunaya. I'm sorry, dear. I never meant to hurt you. It was just circumstances. I'm sorry. So you did all you did without minding how I'm going to feel. And you claimed you loved me. I loved you more. Loved you more. It was... Sorry. I'm so sorry, please. I'm sorry, girl. I'm so sorry. Where's Silver? Um, honestly, I do not know where she is. I don't know. That's the truth. I don't know. Truth, I loved you. Okay. Mom, you lied to me. You lied to me, Dad. Uncle Prince is my real father. But now, I have found my real father. I'm sorry. <laughs> Greetings, everybody. Are you John Kennedy? <laughs> yes, I am John Kennedy. And you must be Prince, right? <laughs> Do you know him? I don't know him. He only sent his men to... to kidnap me so I could take him to Ibuka school. Well, I am so sorry for that. Um, I know what I did was against the law. But the truth wouldn't have been made known. Silver here told me she's pregnant for you, Prince. This is unbelievable. <sighs> Do maybe. Please. Can you find it in your heart to forgive me? I am so sorry for the inconveniences that all these things have caused you and your family. Do maybe please forgive me. See, I wanted us to make it right, but you refused to give me the attention. Please forgive me, and I promise you, I will never ever lay my hands on you again. I'm so sorry for the past attitude towards you. Please forgive me. Find it in your heart, my love. Please. Mom, forgive that. Ebuka is right. Please, to maybe. To maybe. Charles has been arrested. He sent those assassins that nearly killed Ugone. Charles? <laughs> My goodness. Why is everything happening almost at the same time? They were reported to the police by someone who overheard them on how they were planning to kill Prince. Huh. Mom, what is going on here? Um, it's a silver. In as much as we just got the good news, 
I will still not be happy if you don't forgive me. I'm very sorry, my love. I did all I did because... Because of him. I thought he's my son. They call me an orphan They say I'm adopted I don't have a father And I don't have a mother They call me an orphan They say I am homeless And they try to take the only thing that gives me joy No, or I will fight I will fight If no one speaks for me I will speak for myself I will fight I will fight No matter what it is I will get what is mine. Oh, small things they don't they talk too much. If I talk back, they start to shout at me. If I shout, they start to fight with me. What have I done to them? Ah, uh -huh. small things they don't they talk too much. If I talk back, they start to shout at me. If I shout. They start to fight with me What have I done to them? I will fight and I won't quit Till I get what belongs to me No one can stop me No torture can stop me Until I get